Then the life of a 40 year old first time mom, I am up early before the family to shower and get dressed. Once it was time for work, baby boy joined me for my first meeting of the day. Hi. Check my baby's braids out. Now here I am just cleaning off the baby's bottle station and putting the dishes away. I know we got some dirty dishes in the sink, but no worries. We will address those later on. We were out of paper towels in the kitchen, so I just changed that out real quick and put a fresh roll out. And now it is time for breakfast. I am just going to fry three eggs for myself and have that with some toast. This boy loves scrambled eggs, so of course I had to share my breakfast with him. And it was nap time, okay? He definitely let me know it was nap time. I just got off the phone with um, the doctor's office for baby boy. He has always been a month off when it comes down to his immunizations. Okay, this is not a whether or not my baby should be getting shots or whatever whether he should be getting immunizations vaccines or whatever this ain't that so please keep your opinions to yourself i don't already did all my own research my baby's getting shots so he's always been a month off with his shots in my doctor's office with his pediatrician he's supposed to get them every two months so at two months four months six months eight months etc um but he's always been a month off here and there so he got his first set of shots at three months um, his second set of shots at five months and he was scheduled to get his third set of shots this month august where he would have been eight months so they called me the day of his appointment and had to reschedule and couldn't get him in until october which i get that understandable it's back to school time a lot of kids got to get in a lot of stuff going on but i was worried that if he don't get his shots, you know, something could go wrong. Like, is it okay for him to go that long between shots? Because in October, he'll be done with five months in between getting his shots. And I just didn't know if that was okay. So I called and asked the nurse um, about it. And she let me know that as long as he is not sick, he's not high risk, um, not having any fevers, runny nose is showing signs of being sick. If he's not going to daycare, being around a bunch of children, um, being exposed to sick people, people with chronic illnesses, things of that nature, then he should be okay. And just at any sign of him getting sick or anything like that, then to call. Um, I am still going to call every once in a while periodically, periodically to check in and see um, if they have another appointment earlier that opens up so that he can go ahead and get his appointment. Um, I know y'all love his videos of him going to the doctors. Those are some of my most popular videos. So I'm going to make sure I get y'all an update um, for his next doctor's appointment whenever he goes to the doctor. But yeah, I just wanted to give y'all an update on that. Okay. I was trying to whisper and let y'all know that he was falling asleep in his little bouncer thing right here. He refused to let me hold him and put him to sleep. He wanted to get in this thing and fall asleep on his own. Now I am addressing those dishes that we saw in the sink. Just washing all of those and making sure those are clean and dry. Next up, I got my chicken prepared for dinner. I'm setting aside the chicken that I'm going to clean and cook for us. And then I'm also going to put the leftovers in some plastic bags, which will make it just easier for me. The next time I cook chicken thighs, I can just pull one bag out. I know it's enough for one dinner for us. Now I am in my office just doing a little bit of a tidy. Um, my office is right off the front door and it's kind of like a catch-all place for us. So it tends to get very, very cluttered and I am tired of looking at the clutter. So I'm just taking my time little by little getting this cleaned up and organized. Then I spent some time just playing around on the floor with the baby. Got him fed and ready for bed, cooked dinner, and that's it for today. Follow me for more mommy content.